Oh no, don't go there. Come here. That's set up shop near the, the cafe and the <laughs> I know this probably sounds horrible, but that's set up shop right here and be a little competition for them. So, so, and uh, welcome to Sims Playhouse presents the ABC. No, this is not the ABC, y'all. This is the Foster Home Challenge. This is your girl Janae, and we are on episode. I don't remember. You know, you all know how these episodes go. Uh, episode 24. That's what we're at. Episode 24 of the Foster Family uh, Foster Home Challenge. And we are in Suleni. If you remember, we moved to Suleni last week. And uh, Mama went out. She got her a cute little girl. Her name is Daisy Dawn. Yeah, Daisy Dawn. <laughs> Dawn. She is, she is supposed to be at school. But the last time I looked for her, she was out on the beach goofing off. You see, that's where she is. No, Mama, you need to get you to go to school, honey. Um, yes, please, go to school, go to school now. Thank you. And uh, Mama's here, we have some people coming in to visit the new housewarming party, as it were, coming in, and they brought some kava juice. So we're gonna hang out with them for a bit. Papa, as soon as Mama came back home, and I ended the last episode, we got another call for another foster, um, was a child, I cannot recall. So Terry is out collecting the next foster. So when we come back, we will be receiving our newest foster and hanging out with these strange people that have welcomed us into this new town and whatnot. Even though none of these are actually residents of Sulini. But that's okay. Okay guys, so we have a little situation here, right? And we came back home from school. Uh, Terry came back home with the new foster and she has no face. Her name is Audrey Wildy and she literally has no face. And when I go into cast through MC Command, the problem is I can fix the face, the no face problem. It's just that when I come out, she's considered an individual without a household. And you know, as a child, you have to have an adult, blah, 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 for it to, or at least a teenager for it to be considered a full household. So it kind of kicks her back to being just how she is here. The only way to fix this problem would literally be to adopt her. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do about that just yet, but for right now, let's get these kids doing homework and getting to know each other and having fun and doing all that fun foster home stuff. Uh, excuse you. Hello? Uh, yes? <laughs> She's like, uh, no. No, thank you. I'm about to go sit out in the sun because I got the llama flu and I'm feverish and that just makes sense. Okay, Haven. We'll see you, your llama flu, and all that good stuff. Oh my goodness, guys. So, crazy thing happened, right? And I've never noticed this before because I never really actually used this specific interaction. But Little Missy Daisy got out here and was making a mess on our patio of, uh, you know, upstairs balcony or whatnot. And I put her in timeout for making the mess. And she goes and she sits on the nearest chair, and there's literally like a timeout clock over her head. Look at that. And this is how long she's going to be in time out for. That is so crazy. Well, I was going to make her clean up the mess, but I can't interact with her at all because she's in time out. That is so weird. I've ne never noticed this before. Well, I guess it's the first time for everything, guys. This is how you learn what to do with your game. <laughs> By watching me find stuff and discover things just kind of randomly all about the place. Well, there we go. Our fossil wall is coming along nicely. I had to go ahead and get a picture of... Uh, Audrey without her face. Like I said earlier, this is kind of a weird glitch that came in. It's not so much weird as much as it is that I cannot do anything with her to fix the face issue 
while she's not actually belonging to her household. So I guess we'll have to wait until she is officially adopted out and make the corrections there. Then, there, there, no trouble. And I've had Terry out fishing to make some coin. I've also had Mama or uh, Bianca painting so that they can make a couple of paintings so she can herself. And I guess we go and do some, you know, foster work or whatever. And try to, we'll try to get us another another couple of kids again today. We still have room for at least one more child and a toddler. Let's see how that goes. So while I was looking to see if I can find any more kids for us to foster, up pops a notification. Bianca went to pick up another bus, so we have another child coming in. So while she's doing that, it is storming like absolute crazy. But I have Terry making some pies. You can pick that up later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm really trying to get him to level 10 in his baking skills because I want to get him to make that the bunt cake because that's where the money is at. I do believe. We need to get there. We just haven't reached it yet. So I'm going to have him make a couple of pies to put in the uh, sale table so that we can go sell that and make a little bit of extra money. If the rain would just ever stop, like, will it ever stop? Oh, and we have New Year's Eve coming. Wonderful. Oh, 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 she just got that. And they told us a child with a little toddler without a face. Sylvia Kurtz. Okay. All right. We'll have to make this work again without the face, but that's okay. Right? Yes, that's okay. Let's see this baby. I know she's scared. I'll be scared too, the thunder and all this stuff going on. And then let's go back on her to the family. And we do have a bed for her already, so that's not a big deal. We are ready. We are prepared for this, okay? Get a picture, let's get a picture quickly. This is about the best we're going to get for a picture for this little pumpkin. With the chickens in the background. Because why not? She's bright with some already. Look at that. Wonderful. She's Puerto Rican! <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. She has a Puerto Rican drink. Let's go ahead and get her a bed set up for her. We already have it here. This is where she will be spending her nights to sleep. Probably needs to go take a nap right one now anyway, so let's do that. So I don't know where you are, but you're going to go and find uh, a foster for us as well. There are no more kids currently in need of foster, so we'll have to check back a little later. That is a-okay with me. It is so pouring rain. Like, I want to go outside and spend some time. Oh my god, that does fall. It is storming horribly, guys. There is no way that we could go out and sell anything today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's go ahead and at least get the table set up out here so we can uh, put some stuff in it. Because we just had a couple of cakes made. A couple of pies, I should say. And we need to put them away before somebody comes home and by somebody I need Haven comes home from school and eats it all up. I know she don't look like she eats a lot, but that little child's a glutton. Like literally, that's her trait. Oh, and I've had the, um, I've had Haven as well as Terry. They were out, Terry was out fishing. Haven was out collecting, um, 
shells around the, the neighborhood around the islands so i'm going to be having them collect a lot of these shells and artifacts and stuff and we can sell those and also raise some funds as well as terry did make a few payments already on his uh, loan so he's not going to be too far behind he's not going to be you know all set he still has some money so that's not a big deal it's not <laughs> what are you doing out there you chose to go out there and mop the bridge while the rain is falling because that makes sense to you yeah that's it he made a whole lot of sense Uh, wait, she's the one that has an archae archaeological trait. Mm. She's the one that does something about that. You've got quite the positive reputation. People love your floral arrangements and landscaping. Have you considered a career as a gardener? I'm ready to give you two green thumbs up and provide you with clients. No, thank you very much. This. Um, what should we do? Let's send it to the Geo Council and see what that is. See if we can get some money from it. Like when we see it again. I've never seen that before. That particular um, element. Sound represents the National Stem Geo Geological Council for elemental isolation. But I said element. elements three months to you the next day or so, okay? Okay. How okay. We can hold on for a day or two for that. And I want to make sure these kids are working hard or at least listening to their teacher, doing what they're supposed to do. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's finally held up a little bit, so we can go do some other fun stuff. T uh, 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 Terry, go ahead. And let's go to the fishing. Oh wait, no. Let's collect some stuff here. These are conch shells, are like two hundred dollars a piece. They come in handy. I love to pick them up. And Mama, I'm gonna take you over here. Let's go over to the little like town area or whatever, and head over there. The marketplace, not marketplace, oh my goodness, you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh no, don't go there, from here. Let's set up shop near the, the cafe and the, <laughs> you know, this probably sounds horrible, but let's set up shop right here and be a little competition for them. Oh guys, I forgot to show y'all. So, I had uh, Janae go using a science of life model she went to the hospital for for a bit to uh, 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 lose some weight as it were and she came back looking still looking a little thickums but I kind of went and had to go jogging really quickly and next thing I know she came back home she's not like as skinny as she was when she first came to our household but she has certainly lost quite a lot of weight and she's not looking you know six months pregnant anymore she's actually looking like a young lady teenager she still has a little cut she's not going to get rid of that cut that's not going to happen anytime soon um she kind of always had that gut so but i kind of have her on like liquid diets and salads i kind of have her on liquid diets and salads for a while i don't want to eat anything that's going to cause her to get to gain too much weight even mama i'm trying to get her to slim back down a little bit too have some fruit parfaits and yogurt okay so that's not too bad you know but i'm trying to keep them eating a little bit more healthily so that they don't just continue to blow up unnecessarily of course the calories equal food more doesn't help much either right because they love food and they have calories so yeah Okay guys, so it's New Year's Eve and uh, everyone has their resolutions made and whatnot, including Bianca, which is to lose weight or to get fit, I can't remember, in the next seven days. So I went ahead and have her go 
using the private practice more, go ahead to the doctor and get her, you know, get everything checked out, make sure things okay before we actually start on the workout regimen. And she is considered overweight. At last check, at the last checkup, Bianca was measured to be overweight. Bianca might find that they get a little tired faster than they had put in. But if they had a healthy body weight, they are also at an increased risk risk huh, for other health issues that could result in a shorter lifespan. It is recommended that Bianca exercise by jogging or running on a treadmill to improve her fitness. To check on their progress, they can schedule another health checkup. Her blood pressure is low, which is you know, usually good. Was measured to be low, she may experience aches or dizziness. Oh, so having it too low is not really good, but you know. Low is not that bad. I mean, mine is generally on the low side. I'm perfectly fine. She may experience aches and dizziness as a result of her low blood pressure. So, so as someone gets older, they risk their risk of problems with their blood pressure increases. It is recommended Bianca improve her fitness, drink plenty of water, and try to avoid things that cause them to feel dazed or hysterical. So to their blood pressure, they can schedule another appointment, and she has another checkup due in seven days. Yeah, I guess living in Suleni with all the thunderstorms is probably not best, but I guess we'll make it work one way or another. Ooh. Well guys, uh, Haven just finished her resolution. She has completed a book, which was her resolution uh, to write a book. So she just completed that and uh, let's see what else happens. Okay guys, so we are back uh, nearing the end of this episode. It was New Year's Eve. They went, they were invited to dinner and uh, things kind of went kind of crazy. Came back trying to do the, um, the countdown, but for some reason, they're not turning on the TV and looking at the daggone countdown. However, let me show you this. My mama went and she worked out. She's been hitting that gym. I bought the two treadmills so that both her and Janae can hit that treadmill and lose the extra pounds. And mama has lost quite a bit she's heading upstairs right now let me show y'all Janae Oops, that's my phone ignore that let me show y'all Janae Janae is looking mighty fine still got a little tummy not quite sure what's going on with the stuff underneath her eyes I, I, I have no idea where that came from because that's not how I made her we all know that but she has slimmed down quite a bit they've both been working out hitting the treadmill hitting the um doing a lot of little yoga and all, yoga and such. So I've been working them out, getting them slim and trim and getting everybody back in shape. Daddy's next on the list. But we have hit all our resolutions, so we are doing good. It is bright and early Sunday morning, so I'm probably gonna end the episode here. And the next time we see you guys again, it will be time for them to uh, receive their payments for the three children that they, have, they currently have. Um, which would be about seventeen fifty, because it'll be five hundred for each of the two children, and seven fifty for the toddler. So they'd be getting about seventeen fifty for there. Um, Terry would have made another loan payment, and we would probably be getting ready to get some more toddlers, some more fosters in. You know, taking these, getting these out, and getting us some new ones in time for the next week. So this is your girl Janae. This is the Foster Home Challenge and this is episode 24. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload another video. Dag dag! If you like what you see, be sure to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. Dag dag! Thank you.